So, you guys want to see a custom water-cooled laptop, huh? Well, this is the right video for you. Before I get started, though, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps push out my videos to the algorithm so I can keep making quality content. Thank you. With that out of the way, let's get to the video. So, I started off basically taking out all of the screws out of the back plate of the computer just because I'm going to have to get into the back of it. And that took me maybe 10 minutes or so. I know that sounds like I'm unexperienced with taking apart electronics, but it just kind of, it was kind of a pain in the butt. It was like stuck together. But once we got that done, then there was the magic reveal. Okay, so now that I have the back plate removed, I'm just going to remove the battery from the computer's internals or from the motherboard, however you want to call it. And then after I do that, I'm going to start soldering on the heat pipes to the uh, IHS or the other heat pipes. I don't really know what these are called. I'm just kind of uh, going by of what I think they're called, but bear with me. So they're not really sticking the factory heat sink, heat pipes. They're not really working. So I put a little flux on it, hoping that that would help. It made absolutely zero difference whatsoever. So um, if you guys are going to try this, don't bother doing that because it will not affect it at all. It did not make it stick any better or anything. And um, for now, I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'm just going to give you guys like a little like times 10 speed montage type of deal where you guys can watch it. And I'll give little inputs every now and again. It's pretty simple. I think in the future, I am going to end up making a full guide on how to do this. I'll get like an, a whole nother laptop and like actually show you guys how to do this instead of just the process of me doing it. So, you know, I'll do that and on to the next clip. Quick little intermission before I start the montage actually. So in this clip, you're going to see me taking off the fans or the heat sink, or the heat pipes, whatever you want to call it. The soldering iron wasn't working, so I decided to get the heat gun instead. So you're just going to see me blasting this with the heat gun. And um, you'll see what happens a little bit later. You may have thought all was going well, but then this happened. And, um, it all fell apart. This came off. This came off. Ignore my toes. This came off. This, it all just came apart. This is turning out to be something much more than it was supposed to be, so, um, yeah, I'm going to put this back together and get back with you guys and see what happens. Even though we had our last issue that we ran into, I ended up figuring this out and I decided to not try and put the heat pipes back on for the GPU. And originally my goal of this video 
and this laptop was to cool the CPU down mainly because that's what gets hot. Um, but I managed to just solder on the like uh, the water pipes to the GPU heat sink or whatever it's called. Uh, I guess you could call it the IHS of it since it like, you know, that's basically the IHS, I guess. Um, so I just managed to solder it onto that. I, at this point, I'm still trying to stick it out where the battery is. Later on, I do end up figuring out that that's just not end up going to be working. And I had screwed down that GPU piece right there originally because I accidentally bent the heck out of the brackets while I was soldering onto it. Um, word of caution, if you guys are going to try and do this, if you will have to use a, a heat gun, but you are going to have to do it um, very gently, I think is the best way I can put it, mainly because if you do it vigorously, you will get the entire heat pipes too hot and have what happened with me happen to you, which in which case, then you just have to get heat pipes for your CPU and your GPU. But um, it kind of all played out for me in the end, as you can see here. And I'm kind of just uh, breaking off that top piece because I don't want it to intersect with my GPU pipes because I'm actually going to end up moving them where that piece is right there. And uh, as you could see, like it's it looks very ugly. I'm not going to be putting the GPU fan back in. It's just the CPU fan, and then the GPU has its own like water block now, its own homemade water block. So yeah, I'll just let you guys watch through the rest of this. product as you can see we have the inlet tube on the side right here we just attached another piece of tubing to this tubing so it is still portable and this is our outlet tube and then we've had this running for quite a while as you can see we're sitting at 39 degrees celsius about 40. this water is pretty warm i don't have a radiator yet but you could tell by the condensation of it and uh, i just want to show you guys that if i unplug this how fast it heats up 39, 40, 41, 48, or 41.8, 42, 43. Then the second we turn this thing on, so it should start cooling down. So just like that, even with the warm water that we have, it heat makes a huge difference. I put ice in this thing earlier and got it to go down to 18 degrees Celsius at idle. So now if I run this, 
you'll see that we're getting at 100%, 75% VRAM usage. Fifty six degrees Celsius. Yep. It's not going past that. Before I don't I don't have benchmarks for you guys, but um this thing would sit at eighty six degrees Celsius when I ran Furmark. Sorry I don't have the before and after, but uh yeah. Then they don't even like there isn't even a fan there. CPU fan isn't running right now just because this isn't CPU intensive, but you guys can see if I unplug this how fast it just jumps, like it makes a huge difference. 65, 68, 70, 73, 75, 78, 81, and just wait for us to get thermal throttled, 92, yep, and there's the thermal throttle, then 100 degrees Celsius, and then we'll plug this bad boy in, look at that, look how fast it drops, huge difference, highly recommend it if you guys are willing to put in a little money and tiny bit of risk definitely do this it's amazing